These third grade students at Indian Wells Elementary School are studying the Navajo language. They live in the Navajo Nation, a reservation for Native Americans in the southwestern United States. Seventy years ago, nearly everyone on the reservation spoke Navajo as their mother tongue. In the late 1800s, Navajo children began to attend public schools. Some children went to schools like this one on the reservation. Others went to boarding schools far from home, where they were not allowed to speak their native language. Over time, English began to replace Navajo. Today, few young Navajos can speak the language of their grandparents. There is growing worry that Navajo and other Native American languages could disappear. Dr. Robbie Korporich is the superintendent of the Holbrook Unified School District in Arizona. The Navajo language itself, I, I believe, is, is a major concern on the reservation and in our district um, pertaining to the preservation of the language. So the preservation of the Navajo language is part of our part of our mission. If you think you know Na how to speak Navajo language, raise your hand. Some of you? Very good. How many, okay, put your hands down. How many of your parents know how to speak Navajo? Very good. Put your hands down. And how many of your Chays or your Nollies know how to speak Navajo? Tell me about why Navajo language class is your favorite. So we could learn it and teach it to other people. Mm -hmm. Are you good at it? Though they are young, Hortensia and her classmates at Indian Wells know the role they play in preserving the Navajo language for future generations. They take pride in the role the Navajo language played in helping the United States win World War II. In 1942, the United States military recruited 29 Navajo speakers. Together, they developed a secret code to send secret information past Japanese and German code breakers. The Navajo code talkers were people that that fight for our that fight for our people, so so we could stay safe. This language was a successful code because it was so unbelievably complicated that the enemy couldn't figure out how it worked. And yet we took the children of these people away from their families to train them to speak English only on the grounds that this language was inferior. An hour away, Navajo students continue to learn the language at a high school in Holbrook, Arizona. The small town is located along the famous U.S. Route 66, just outside the Navajo Nation. My parents are actually, um, they grew up speaking the Navajo language, they're fluent speakers. They're like a dictionary. If I ask them, how do you say this? You know, they're, they're able to translate. But um, me, I'm, I'm learning as I'm gone. <laughs> It's just it's disappearing because people don't even speak it. The kids nowadays don't even bother to learn it. They don't even they don't even go to their grandmas, their nollies. They don't even bother to learn it. That's all. They just have no interest. And I want to learn and become a fluent speaker and teach my children how to speak Navajo and keep the language on, keep it from dying. I don't want that to happen. Some think like, oh, Navajo, like that's not cool, or like dressing the traditional style with turquoise and the skirts and um, ciel, the bun, that's like, it's weird or it's not, it doesn't fit in well with the world right now. Everybody should have the right 
to speak their own language just as much as they should have the right to practice their religion because their language is as good as everybody else's language. So if you take that away, you've taken away a massive resource for knowing something about a, a part of human life. And you've taken away the part of who those people are. Is that right? Everybody should have the right to speak their language and to transmit their language to their children and to keep their culture alive. If you just think about it, you know, if my parents, if they go, then that's going to be me right there who has to carry that on. If I don't have the, the knowledge that they had, it's, you know, it's just that's going to be it right there. Um, so I'm glad that, you know, we have students here who want to learn the language, who want to keep that language. Na ishte i ajit o utnan mit ath Bik in na hota na lejit it na e Bich ech in na an it sa e yo e yo Na ishte i ajit o utnan mit ath Ah! Nice!